Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another monthly favourites video. In today's video I'm going to be chatting through everything that I've been loving throughout August and as usual I've got a mixture of things to talk about including beauty, skincare, hair care, fragrance, home, fashion, I think that's everything. Um, as usual everything featured will be linked below in the description box. Any questions about anything just leave a comment and I will get back to you as soon as possible. And if I've got any discount codes for any of the items featured, then I will also pop those discount codes in the description box below. But I'm gonna get straight into it and I'm going to start off with a lipstick. And this is the lipstick that I'm wearing today. In fact, this is a lipstick that I feel like I've worn almost every day throughout August. I have just been loving it. It is a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. It's from their Hot Lips 2 collection. And this is just the most beautiful, peachy pinky nude. Now I have already spoken about this a few times on my channel this month, well a couple of times I feel like, so if you've already seen me talk about this feel free to skip on to the next favourite, um, but this is just such a gorgeous colour and the formula of this is beautiful as well, it's, it's a satin finish but it just feels so creamy when you apply it, it lasts really well and it's such a flattering nude. For me like I don't like a just kind of like plain nude, I like it to have a little bit of a peachy pink tone and this is the perfect, perfect nude for me. And you can make it that little bit darker by using like a darker lip liner or you can kind of just dab it on lightly to have like a lighter flush of nude. Um, I've even been using a little bit on my cheeks sometimes as well, it makes a really nice natural blush as well. And this case is refillable as well. Sticking with beauty, my next favourite is a mascara. It is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And you may have seen, I filmed a makeup tutorial a couple of weeks ago, um, and I used this mascara for the first time in that video. I kind of just ran out of my last one, so I was like, oh, I'll try this out. And I was really impressed. It gives, I've got it on today as well, it just gives a really lovely, like, lengthening, thickening, um, slightly kind of dramatic eye look. Obviously it's buildable so you can make it a little bit more natural if you want, but I love the fact that you can build it into more of a dramatic look. I love, I love using quite a lot of mascara and this is just perfect. It just builds up really nicely, um, doesn't crumble away. I did find it did transfer a little bit when I first put it on, but just by pad putting a tiny bit of powder on, it wasn't too bad. Like I've used ones that are a lot worse at transferring. This was only, this wasn't too bad. So I'll leave this mini one, this is just a mini size. So I'll leave this linked below, but I'll also leave the full sized one as well. But I feel like a mini is a great way to try out a product without spending too much. Just in case you don't like it, I feel like it's a great way to try a new product. So love that. And then my final beauty favourite is another Charlotte Tilbury one, it's the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. I've definitely spoken about this before on my channel, um, but I ran out of my other one recently, which lasted me for well over a year. It lasted so long, but I recently ran out and I repatched it in the medium. I was using the fair before, I went for the medium this time, and I love it even more than I loved it in the fair. It just, I feel like this uh, suits my skin tone a little bit better, and it's just the most beautiful powder. It covers, like it sets my under eye makeup really nicely, gets rid of any shine, but without being cakey at all. It's really good at hiding pores as well, but it's just super light and it doesn't feel heavy or cakey on the skin. And it's just a really beautiful powder. So definitely recommend that. Next up is a hairdryer, but not just any old hairdryer. This is the Zuvi Halo. And this works differently to traditional hair dryers. So whereas regular hair dryers have heat coils in the back, so they kind of suck in the air and then the heat coils really, really heat up the air to blow it out to dry your hair. Whereas the Zuvi Halo combines infrared light and warm air to remove water from the surface of your hair whilst keeping the inside of the hair hydrated and healthy. So think of it like if you were to dry your hair naturally, if you were to go outside on a walk and it was sunny, you've got the sun and the wind, the Zuvi Halo works in the same way but at a much faster rate. So unlike traditional hair dryers that use extremely hot air to dry your hair, the drying process of the Zuvi Halo is inspired by the natural evaporation of water from sunshine and wind. It uses a patented light care technology and consumes about 60% less power than a traditional hair dryer without compromising on the drying speed. 
and because of how it dries your hair it also uses much less electricity and so it's much better for the environment and I don't know about you guys but I always get so hot and flustered when I'm drying my hair especially after I've done my makeup if I do my makeup first and then blow dry my hair I get so hot and sticky and flustered whereas this is much better because it uses cooler air than regular hair dryers you can dry your hair without getting hot and bothered. It's a much more comfortable experience. So it comes with three different attachments. First up, the Styling Concentrator. This is great for straightening and shaping your hair, really getting that smooth, shiny finish to the cuticle of the hair. Next up is a Gentle Air Attachment. This is great if you have a sensitive scalp. It works by dispersing the air so it's not kind of so focused in one particular area. And then finally the diffuser and this is perfect if you've got naturally wavy or curly hair. I've actually got naturally quite wavy hair and I haven't used this yet but I'm going to give it a go next to my wash of hair and I'll let you know in a future video how I get on with it. But these just magnet onto the, onto the end of the hairdryer, really easy to take on and off and obviously you just use that by kind of scrunching your hair and then using it to pull up the hair to give it the texture and lock in curls. You flick this button to turn it on and then it's got four settings, care, fast, soft and style. And it feels nice and lightweight, it's so easy to use. It's quiet compared to traditional hair dryers. I've just been really impressed. I've been using it for probably coming up to a couple of months now. And so I've really got to grips with using it and I've been loving using it. Love how quick and easy it is. Love the shine that it gives to my hair as well, especially using this. It just gives a really lovely shine. It's really great at smoothing down the cuticle and leaving my hair feeling smooth and soft and shine. In fact, even this morning when I put it in the ponytail, I got a brush and I just used this attachment just to smooth the edges back so I didn't have any like frizzy little flyaways here. It took like about 30 seconds and it just made my sides really smooth and shiny. Um, so I have been loving this. I have also got a discount code to give you 10% off. It is Model Mouth 10. I will pop it on the screen here and I will also leave it in the description box below with a link to this hairdryer as well. If you were looking to invest in a really great hairdryer, I can definitely recommend the Zuvi Halo. Okay, next up is a fragrance and it's Joe Loves Pomelo. And if you watch my vlogs, you will have seen, I recently went to a Joe Loves event where I met Jo Malone, the owner of Joe Loves. And it was all kind of like based, it was a meal at Koya in Mayfair. And the food was all really focused around the flavors from Pomelo and Mango Thai Lime, which are two of Jo Love's best-selling ranges. Now, Pomelo is a very kind of zesty, grapefruity, fresh, gorgeous, like summer scent. And this was actually in our little goodie bags that we got at the end of the evening. And I popped this on the train home. And ever since then, I've worn it pretty much every day since that day. And I've just been loving it. It smells so, oh, it smells so fresh. I would say, I think it's slightly masculine, which I love in a fragrance. I love that slightly like unisex feel. Um, but it just smells so fresh and zingy and gorgeous. I've been really enjoying it. It's something a little bit different. Definitely recommend trying it if you love more citrusy fragrances. Um, but also Mango Thai Lime is really gorgeous as well. Moving on to a couple of skincare favourites. And I feel like this is a very obvious one. I have raved about this so much. But the reason I wanted to mention this again is because I did work with Elemis this month. And I was given a discount code for, I believe it was 20%. It might even be 25%. Let me just check. Yes, it is 25%. So I was given a discount code for you guys to use to get 25% off full-size products at Elemis. And so I really wanted to give this one more mention because my discount code runs out today when this video is going up. So I'm really sorry if you're watching this the next day and you're thinking, oh, I've missed out. Um, but I just wanted to give it one more mention on here in case you guys love this like me. I know so many of you use this. I know I've kind of converted some of you to it and you've messaged me saying how much you love it. I've converted friends and family members into using it. It's a really gorgeous cleansing balm. You just take a little bit, warm it in your hands, massage it all over your face and then use a hot cloth to remove all your makeup, to cleanse your skin, it leaves your skin feeling smooth, soft, nourished, like doesn't dry out your skin at all. And it just smells incredible. It literally smells like a spa in a jar. A spa in a jar. Um, so I thought I would just give that one last mention while it's got 25% off with my code, which again, I will either pop on the screen or in the description box below. 
And then another favourite is the Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream. And I actually ran out of this a few months ago, so I started using this again recently when I was working with Elemis on a collaboration. And I just realised again why I love it so much. It's just a really gorgeous day cream. It feels really light to apply. It's almost, it feels super light, but it's super hydrating at the same time. It's got an SPF 30 in it, but you can get it with or without SPF if you prefer to use SPF separately. Obviously, um, you can get it without SPF. And it's just a really, really beautiful day cream and leaves my skin feeling so soft, so smooth, so hydrated, and I've been loving it. And you can also get 25% off that as well. So I thought I would give that a mention. Um, next up, I'm gonna move on to a couple of jewelry favorites. First of all, are these little gold hoops that I've got in here. I got these at the beginning of the month from a brand called Carrot. I was working on a collaboration with them, and so I picked a few pieces. Um, and as soon as these arrived, I have worn them almost every day since I got them. They are just the most perfect chunky gold hoop, the perfect size, really comfortable to wear. They clip in like they clip like this. So you don't have to bother with a little butterfly. I quite often feel like I lose butterflies. So these are great to just pop in and out, really easy. The gold for me, so a more affordable price point than solid gold, obviously. Um, and again, I do have a discount code for these as well. Um, so I'll leave that linked below. And then another favorite piece of jewelry that I've loved in this month. Well, a new piece that I got this month that I've worn every single day is this beautiful bracelet from Majuri, and this is just gorgeous. I put this on as soon as it arrived and I have not taken it off. It's 14 karat gold, which for me is perfect because it means I can sleep in it, I can shower in it, and I don't have to worry about it getting tarnished at all. I just have it on 24 seven, and I've got this beautiful little moon pendant on there as well. And it reminds me a little bit of this one that I've got from Monica Vinader, which I've had for a couple of years. I wear so, so much, but this is gold verme, so I don't sleep in it or shower in it. Um, but I feel like this is kind of like a much chunkier version of this one. Uh, but I love them both, but I just, as this is a new in piece and I've not taken it off, I thought it's definitely an August favourite. And then moving on to a couple of home favourites. Next up is a diffuser, and it's the Neom Complete Bliss Diffuser. And I got this from John Lewis a couple of weeks ago. I just nipped in, they had lots of different diffusers out, and I was having a little smell, and I just loved the smell of this. It's Moroccan Blush Rose, Lime and Black Pepper, which sounds like a strange concoction but it really works. I've currently got this in my office. I mean, obviously not now, it's in the bedroom, but I've got this in my office. And as soon as I walk in there every morning, like the room just smells beautiful. It almost smells a little bit like Turkish delight, but a more, look, <coughs> I kind of tasted it that then. Um, it almost smells a little bit like Turkish delight, but a more like luxurious version of Turkish delight. And the packaging is really lovely and it just makes the whole room smell gorgeous and I've been loving it. So I wanted to mention that. And then another home favourite that I've been loving is our new console table in our living room area. And if you watch my vlogs, you may have seen I collaborated with Etsy on a YouTube video earlier in, I think it was the beginning of August. And I got a new console table and I just love how it's transformed the living room area, it's just made it feel like, I wanna say a new room, but it's kind of like half of a room, but it's just feel, made the space feel so much more like beautiful, it just works so well with the style of the home. It's such a gorgeous console table, and every time I look at it, like, because we've got our TV above it, which don't get me wrong, I would rather have a mirror above it than a TV, but the TV's gotta go somewhere, hasn't it? I mean, they don't look the best, but we all use them. Well, most of us do. <laughs> and it comes in lots of different sizes as well. So I've got the biggest one that you can get, but you can get lots of smaller sizes. You can, you can also get it narrow as well. I don't know why I'm still holding on to this. <laughs> it's like it's a drink. Um, but yeah, lots of different sizes, different wood stains as well. So I will leave it linked below if you love the look of it because I just love how it's transformed that space. Okay, moving on to fashion. And I've just picked out a few of my favorite new in fashion pieces this month. And first up is this gorgeous Chloe bag. And at first I was a little bit unsure, like I think I mentioned in the vlog, I was a little bit unsure about the style of it because I had on a really summery outfit and I was like, oh, I don't know, it doesn't really work with my style. Um, but since then I've started with some really gorgeous like black, simple, more, more autumnal-ish outfits or just simple outfits like jeans and a black blazer. 
and I love it. I think the shape of it is gorgeous. I think it's a little bit different. I love the fact that it's got a slightly like vintage feel to it. It fits a good amount in it. So you just push this little button here and then it opens up. I've got the dust bag in there, but it opens up and you can see you can fit quite a lot in there. I can fit my phone, my camera, makeup. And it's, I love the fact that it's got two top handles as well. So you can hold it like that. You can wear it on your shoulder or cross body. You can remove these straps as well, which is great. And I can just see myself using this so much coming into autumn, winter as well. And I also love the fact that the branding's not too much. It just says Chloe at the top there, just in small writing. Um, yeah, I'm really pleased with this. I like it a lot. I got it from Farfetch. I do have a Farfetch discount code that I think should still be valid when this video goes up. If it is, my Farfetch discount code will also be in the description box below. But really happy with that and then a couple of new in fashion pieces which you may have seen if you watched my recent shopping in london vlog and these are more what's new in my wardrobe rather than fashion favorites because i haven't worn either of them yet um but i definitely will be in the upcoming months and first up is this gorgeous striped jumper from and other stories i just loved this as soon as i saw it i actually saw it after i came out of the fitting rooms so i didn't try it on but i just you, you know when you can just look at something and know that it's going to work the knit felt really lovely i love the fact that it was oversized i love the fact that it's cream and black so i can wear it with lots of black autumn winter outfits with a black blazer over the top of black jeans or black leggings um but i did also style it recently with just for like a video that i was filming i styled it with some navy trousers and actually although it's black it still worked with the navy trousers as well because you kind of it almost looks like it could be navy as well so i like the fact that it works both ways and it's really lovely quality being from under the stories then knitwear is always really great quality and again if you saw that vlog then you will have already seen the other piece that i got from and other stories and it's this gorgeous camel wool blazer and obviously i haven't worn this yet it's boiling today i don't know what made me think that i could wear this high neck jumper it was raining this morning so i was like oh, i'm gonna stick this on it's cozy like it looks nice um but whew, boy that was a mistake <laughs> absolutely boiling um but i will definitely be wearing this over the next few months and if you follow my channel already you'll know that i've already got this in a few other colors but i wear them so much in autumn winter they're like my they're my winter blazers it means i can still wear a blazer in winter but be cozy and warm as well the quality is gorgeous and so i thought that this would be a color that i would also get a lot of wear out of so I will leave it linked below. I will also leave my other color. I've got like a kind of taupey beige that is currently available again this year. So I will leave that one linked below. And if the black's available, I'll also leave that linked too. Um, but I am going to get this jumper off <laughs> as soon as possible. Cool down a little bit. Um, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Everything will be linked below along with any discount codes for any of the pieces. But if you've got any questions about anything at all, just leave a comment and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you again in my next video. Bye.